What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Terraria 1.3. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a while and hopefully get into this little spider base over here. I don't know, spider base, spider base, puts arachnids in their place. Oh my god, there are so many arachnids down in here. So let's get some cobwebs because those are always useful and I enjoy having them. Ew, there's legs all over the place. And I'm like, well there wouldn't be if you hadn't shot me in the face. Just coming over to say hello and ask if you wanted some coffee. Jesus, calm down, adventurer. You guys are all such dicks. I think without a ranged weapon, this area is a terrible idea, but once you have a ranged weapon, it's actually not that bad anymore. In general, this is one of the nastier biomes that you can encounter in the early game, especially if you like stumble into it accidentally. You can get yourself into a decent amount of trouble here. I'm going to do that right there. Plus, there's a lot of cobwebs around, which really... What is this? A spider chest? The web slinger? No. Tell me that I'm not Spider-Man right now. Spider splat, spider splat, has a spider and a cat. The spider's in his house behind the fridge. The kid is cute and has a white bib. All right, so let's go ahead and do that right there. Hold on, the web slinger, we need to figure this out right now. Where is, where is the web slinger? No, 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 you get out of my inventory right this second. You shut your awful mouth. Yes, I'm Spider-Man. All of my dreams come true. All your dreams come true. The nerd castle was black. Well, mostly his dreams come true. But you know you can be there and witness it. You know, it is what it is. You gotta be honest about shit like that. I don't know. I mean, I get to be Spider-Man and you guys don't. I feel a little bit guilty about it. But not guilty enough to, like, curtail my web slinging. So do the webs go further or anything? Or is it basically just, like, a special skin for your grappling hook? I do appreciate the fact that, like, the developer goes through and does stuff like that, though. Like, it's an item that does the exact same thing as every other item. But for people that like Spider-Man stuff, it'd be cool. A web-covered chest. So is this all we get from this biome right here? Because there does not appear to be much else going on. Sort of like a one-trick pony over here, like a one-trick spider. Oh, my God. Okay, note to self, don't call spiders tricks. It makes them very upset. Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids. That means all kinds of weird shit if you put it in terms of prostitution. That's all kinds of weird. Nope, ew, there's a little tunnel down here in the bottom. So how deep down does this go? Hmm. Not that deep down, but we were able to beat up some spiders, so that was pretty cool. I mean, if you wanted to beat up spiders, this would be the place to do it. Pretty good opportunity to get yourself a whole bunch of cobwebs, too, in case you're thinking about doing any, like, tapestry weaving, making some shirts. I feel like spiderweb shirts would be super itchy, because spiderwebs always feel a little bit like... I don't know. It's not that... God, my left nostril, my nose itches so much that it's making my eyeball itch. That is the weirdest phenomena ever. I hate how everything in the human body is, like, linked to each other. Like, all of your different senses, they all, like, draw from, like, the same four points. And so when something's wrong with one of them, something's wrong with all of them, and you're just like, ugh. It's the worst design strategy ever. Like, why? Why is this a thing that you have done to me? I'm going to put some dirt right there so spiders can't come back and get their revenge on me for becoming awesome Spider-Man. Oh, you got lightsabered. Oh, there's another spider over here. That's not good. How did you get down here? That doesn't seem right. How did that happen? It's a little bit odd. I find this to be very suspect. I'm going to destroy some slimes while I ponder it. Apparently, he got in here somehow. I don't know. Let's go back down deeper into the dungeon, and we're going to dig some more tunnels. I think we should be able to get to the Hellstone Lair soon-ish. I don't know if, like, right now or in this episode, but maybe eventually we'll get there. It's been half the episode just going through tunnels I've already been inside. So the guy... Oh, he stays here. He's not like the other one where he, like, takes off. So what do you have for... You have rocket boots. It allows flight? Really? We can accomplish Fligget right here. You're going to allow me to do Fligget. I feel like you're going to regret this decision, but if you're going to allow me to do Fliggit, I'm going to do Fliggit right this second. I can't do anything with that. The Amethyst Hook is probably not going to help much either. You know what? I'm going to come back when I have more valuables that I can pawn off on you. And you're only going to give me one silver for 50 rotten chunks of meat. I feel like that's a bad trade. I feel like you are really just not doing this in good conscience. I'm going to walk away before I get angry, Goblin. I'm going to walk away before I get angry. I love this game. I really sincerely do. And I was so worried, and I talked about this previously when I started it up. I thought I was going to get bored by, like, episode four. Because there are games that I, like, dread recording, like, where I get, like, 30 episodes in, and I'm just like, eh, I wish it wasn't this day. You know, because I got to do five episodes of a game that I don't really feel like playing today, but I can't break off the series because that leaves you guys hanging. And it's just like, it becomes like this weird conflict of interest, and it just results in me hating myself. And so anyways, I think the rocket boots are going to be a good plan if we want to fly into the sky. I think that for right now, though, I'm just going to shoot this slime right here. 
Shooting the black slime. Why well, you gotta pick on the black slimes? That's how it's gonna be, huh? Y'all racist. Let's go over and... <laughs> Looks like there's a treasure. Oh no, I've been shot in the ass. Filthy, dirty, evil trap block. How dare you? You're just gonna keep shooting me? Where is the... The trigger's around here somewhere. There it is. I got the trigger now. Got the trigger. Nah. We found the hellstone lair. It's down here. I'm gonna let you know that shit does get real when you go to the hellstone lair. So, it might get a little gnarly. They're like these demon things that I remember. They go, whoo, and they like fire these little things at you, and they hurt like hell, and it's no fun, and bad things happen. There's a golden chest right here where we got a strong enchanted boomerang. I always prefer that my boomerangs be strong. I don't know. I'm one of those people that if I have my choice, if I'm going to go out with a boomerang, I want it to be strong, and I want it to be capable. Another, re another reaper statue. I want that right there. Give that to me. What happens if I drain the water out of this thing into lava? What does that accomplish? I would assume it probably does the same thing that it does in, like, Minecraft. Can I dig that right there? Oh, it's obsidian. Oh, it just turns the lava into obsidian. Okay. That's what I figured would probably happen. I had my assumptions being made. I suppose that's probably one of the best ways to disperse a lot of this water if you need to get rid of it and the lava. I think there's another room over here. Is there anything good in here? No, it's just a flooded-ass house. Okay. I kind of want the candelabra for the chandelier, so I'm going to take that, too. It's a lighting solution that's fancy. It's a very fancy lighting solution. When you walk into somebody's house and they have a chandelier, you're like, damn! Like, you know that they're balling. You know that they're holding it down. I had a friend whose parents were, like, super, like, stupidly rich when I was a kid. Like, brutally rich. His mom was, like, a Rockefeller. So, like, that's how rich. Like, it was a family where I've talked about her before in other series. Ooh, we found Bones McGee or whatever his name is. But anyways, when I was a kid, I had a friend who was, like insanely rich like the type of rich that rich people are like damn you rich like he was so rich his bankroll was so thick just in terms of like his mom was like a Rockefeller or his mom was like a Carnegie or something like that like I don't know his mom was old old money like old money if you don't know what that means it means their family has been like rich for a really really long time and so anyways he lived in a house where they had like a hall like I spent the night at his house all the time he was like my best friend when I was a little kid and so anyways, I spent the night at his house all the time. What is that? A counterweight for hitting an enemy with a yo-yo? Huh. That's weird. I don't know if I want that. Your gear is not so good right now. Bi oh, Billy Marrows. He's got another name. The other one was like Bones McGee or something like that. Okay. Well, I don't really like any of your gear, so I don't think I'm going to take it. And his house had like an entrance hall. I could finish this story right now. His mom, this is back before like grills were a thing. This was like back in the late 80s before like hip hop popularized grills. But his mom had diamonds on her front teeth, like drilled into her teeth. She had diamonds. Like it was wild and insane. And I don't even know. They had in their living room, they had a merry-go-round. Like a full size, like can we ride the merry-go-round at the at the fair, you know, or is that what it's called? What is that thing called? The big circular thing that goes in circles that has all the little horses and stuff. I don't know. Either way, I think it's a merry-go-round. Either way, once I think of the actual name, are you falling into the lava right now? Poor Billy Marrows. Time to die. This is what happens, Billy. This is what happens. You should have given me your shit for free. See what happens, Billy? Don't mess with me like that. Don't mess. Does this hurt me too? Okay. Oh, wow. 71 damage. Okay. So, yes, I think it's safe to assume that indeed it does hurt me a lot. Oh, there's treasure up here. Hello. What's up, gold chest? You want to hang out with me for a little bit? But, yeah, they had like a full-on merry-go-round in their living room. They had like all kinds of crazy shit. What is that? A precise lava charm. Provides seven seconds of immunity to lava. That seems like it would be really, really, really useful. So, I'm going to take that for a second. I'm going to take the gold. They lived on, like, 700 acres. Like, seriously. They had, like, a fully functioning horse arena. Like, not a horse ranch. They were horse people. And so, anyways, they had, like, a bajillion horses. But on top of that, they had, like, their own arena that was, like, named after them here in town. That, like, you could ride horses at and they could board horses and all kinds of stuff. They were beyond the realm of rich. Like, they were, like, Donald Trump rich. Like, the kind of rich where you're just like, wow. Like, unfathomable amount of monies. And to me, I mean, my family is peasantry, so we're just like, ah, whatever, you know? Who wants to go get an otter pop? Like, we were all down. Quarter waters and otter pops. Yup. So anyways, going over to his house was always an interesting immersion into culture. His dad worked for Boeing or something like that, too. His dad was, like, a vice president of Boeing or something. I don't know. His dad didn't do a job that wasn't, like... His dad did a pretty prestigious job as well. I don't know, but that's... I remember that about their house is that they were, like... Crazy rich. They had Nintendo and Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. And I was like, damn! My family just got NES. 
And that was more my dad bought it for him and my mom. It's not really for me. Like, I get to play it sometimes, but my parents are on it a lot of the time. That's where I got my gaming addiction from. My parentals. My parents used to play Marble Madness in the living room. That's what I remember from being a kid. My parents used to play Marble Madness all the time. I always find it weird that that series has not been reinvoked because that was a very popular game. Let's go over here. If you never played Marble Madness before, don't worry about it. It's a game where you're a marble and you try to roll to the end of the level without falling in holes or like lava or anything else. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's one of those games that was super awesome at the time, but I don't know if it like aged well. Haven't played it in a long time. I don't know if there's anything we should be doing in here. Like, this entire dungeon seems a little sketchy to me. We got, like, lava everywhere. The chance of brief and horrible incineration just staring us in the face. Pretty difficult, in all honesty, considering we have a face mask on, but you get what I'm saying. What are you? What are you? Go away. I don't love you. Go away. Leave me alone. Flying creature. It said that it was a something elemental. So that lava charm, is that in my inventory right now? I get seven seconds of immunity. Oh, cool. It gives you a meter, too. All right, we got this now. We got this. Let's recharge that. And if we could get some flippers, it would make this a little bit easier because the lava behaves in just the same way that water does. So if we had flippers, it would be a little bit easier to move around. I didn't see what it was called that time either. I was too busy shooting it in the face and panicking. What is this right here? What kind of block is this? A mud block? What is this? Looks like we don't have room in our inventory to loot it. Hold on, I need to put some torches down. It is dark as hell in here. It's a granite elemental. Okay. So you're granitic, huh? What's that like? Are you diuretic? What is this? It's shining at me. Oh, it's like a bag of coppers or something. It's really dark in here, even though I'm putting down torches. I still feel like I'm having a lot of trouble seeing. Let's see if we can get a couple shots off right there. It's always a good time to get a couple shots off or in or whatever. I don't know. Do whatever you want with that joke. I'm tired. I can't do it anymore. I'm mumbling. Let's go with, can I play the piano? Or does it just like hang out there all by its lonesome like a... I guess you can't play it. All right. Well, we made it down in here. I really don't want another door. I supremely do not need another dirt block. Another bat coming in and trying to mess with me. Leave me alone, bat. I don't love you. What kind of block is this? A granite block. How does that differ from anything else? Like, how does that help me? I guess would be the question that I'd be throwing out here right now. Can I make anything out of it? It looks like this is just like a treasure receptacle zone. Put in some torches real fast so that I can see better. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look like it really goes anywhere, so I'm not going to worry about that. Granitoids are actually fairly valuable. If you can find big blocks, it kind of depends on the coloration, though, too. For, exa for example, there's lots of granite and things like that. Granite and marble down in Brazil. And they harvest the hell out of that shit to make countertops and stuff. I think we'll go over here. Marble is just metamorphosed granite, by the way. What the hell is that? Is that a golem? Huh. I appear to have set up, or at least I appear to have upset some deity who has control of large statuesque individuals who want to murder me. Luckily, my platforming skills have gotten better over the last couple days, and so I'm not failing as miserably as I might normally. What is this? Looks like it ended right here, but... Let's put in some lights. See if we can grab a little something-something from right there. Looks like we got like a star potion or something. I'm going to ditch, since I have like 13 of the really good potions, I'm going to ditch all those. What does that do? A thorns potion? Drink it now. Spider-Man my way up here. Hmm. I mean, I'm seeing lots of things that we already have. And we got a treasure room down there, so I guess I'm going to take the good with the bad here. But... In general, I'm not seeing a whole lot of useful stuff around. The chest will be nice. It kind of depends what magical item we get out of it. Sometimes the chest is not quite so useful as you would hope after you open it. Or it's got an item you've already found inside of it, which is always a bummer. We got heavy shoe spikes, which we already have. We got a tungsten bar that I'm just going to destroy. We got a feather fall potion. Eh, not interested. Get rid of the pressure plate. Get rid of the mana thingamadoobie. What shoe spikes am I using? Plus two damage. Hasty, those give me movement speed. 
2% damage isn't much. I'll probably... Let's take those back to base, I guess, and I'll store them as a backup piece of gear just in case we need it. Another piano, just in case you're feeling musical. I guess I'll take it. Hack my way through there, and it looks like there's not going to be anything inside of that room, but there is a drop-off right there if you were interested. I am not, so I'm just going to move forward for right now. Who's building a house in the middle of a dungeon way underground? Like, who does that? Like, somebody came all the way down in here and built a house and then put all of their treasures in it and decided to just bail out on it and be like, ah, it seemed like a good idea on the front end, but it's too far now. I don't like this anymore. My house will no longer be underground. Looks like this is going to lead us back down to the lava zone, so we might as well get there in a way that's conducive and safe for us. Did you just come out of nowhere? What was that? I think he just spawned out of the ground. That was weird. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the snails because they terrify me. And they have a huge chance of murdering me every single time. What? Did he just block all that damage right there? Did you see that? He didn't take any damage. He was like, nah, I'm not doing that today. Sorry, I like my health bar. What was that? It fell on me. I think it was a spider web. I don't know. I got panicky for a second. I thought it was one of those blocks that's always falling on my head. Oh, so the spider web is, oh, that's kind of cool. It looks like you can launch the spider web in between the two, and that's what makes it good. Okay, so it is different from the normal grappling hook. All right, that's pretty badass. You can fire it to two locations and then go to the middle point. That's cool. I mean, it's got situational uses, but it's still kind of awesome. I mean, I like the fact that they gave you options. Like, you get to make a decision instead of just being forced into, like, whatever piece of gear is standard for the time. I don't know the best way to get ourselves out of this. I'm glad that we found that lava charm so early because this would suck if we were trying to get around that. Oop, almost fell in lava right there again. I figure going around is probably a decent plan. And I saw something. Oh, it's just a lava drip. I was going to say, what is that? If we could try and move this a little bit closer. I don't know exactly where I want to tunnel from. Some rubies right there, just in case you fancy making yourself a Sith lightsaber. I think those are rubies. No, those are amethyst. Never mind. I got excited for a second. I don't find anything other than amethyst. It might be because it, it might be because it just like pops out at me the best out of all the colors. I don't know why I don't see other things. Free anvil right there if you still needed one. I doubt that you do at this point though. Save you a little bit of iron though if you're in the moon. Where do I want to dig down from? So I assume, why is there a piranha in here? That's right, we fought a piranha with a lightsaber. When was the last time you did that in a series with anybody? What a weird cross of genres. So this is where we were coming down. In order to avoid water and all of the fun challenges that it, that it poses, I think maybe digging off to the right over here is going to be our best course of action. There you go. Auto dig for a second. And then we'll put a torch in right there so that we can see. I'm going to go over by like eight or nine blocks. And then once we get there, I'm going to drop down in. We almost have a full inventory right now. So I am going to have to go back home pretty soon. But up until that goes down. Oh, we can make a blue lightsaber right here. Just in case you wanted it. Yeah, I figured that should give us a little bit of clearance. It'll be all right. And I'll put a torch right there. Now, I want to get down into this biome. Oh, man, we got a cave. Okay, well, I guess I accept that. Also got piranhas that are so excited about dinner that they'll jump out of the water to get at you. Then again, who knows how long it's been since they last ate down here in this dungeon. It might just be very, very survivable. Is there a spider in the water over there? There's a spider in the water. Oh, that's awful. I don't want to think about that for one second. Can you imagine just being out in water and then a spider's in the water with you? Like a big spider? You're like, oh no, I don't want that at all. I don't like spiders. I'm not like an arachnophobe, but I don't like them either. I'm not going to let them crawl around on my hands. I don't see anything useful over here, but we should be able to make it back into the lava biome. If you just dig down deep enough, I think the lava biome becomes like the main entire area once you get low enough down into the earth. I know somebody, I saw it on way back when the game first came out, somebody drained the ocean down into the lava biome and just like turned it all into obsidian. I was wondering how long that must have taken, probably a while. That's how fast your pickaxe is, I guess. And if you've got yourself access to, are these sapphires right here? Hell yeah. I'll take sapphires. That sounds great. I love sapphires. What a gorgeous, gorgeous stone. There we go. We'll grab those. 
Uh, I see a couple of pots up there, but I don't think it's worth going for. Try and be careful as I go down this way. I think the lava would illuminate things more readily. I don't know. It already illuminates things pretty red, though, so whatever. Laser my way through some cobwebs real fast because they don't control me. They can't tell me what to do. So I'm not seeing anything that I want down in here. Continues to be our long-term problem. I'm just going to keep digging. If I can get myself deeply down in here before the next episode, I'll be pretty happy with it. What's that biome right there? It's got a weird background. Right there. Hmm. I'm learning a lot of new stuff right now. If I could get like a water breathing charm or something like that, we could go back to the ocean and explore out there. See if we could go further west. But up until that point, I don't think we're going to be able to do much with that biome. We don't have flippers and we don't have... Get out of here, cave bat. We don't have flippers and then we also don't have any water breathing apparatus. So that's going to be troublesome. Without flippers, you run the risk of falling down into a water pit and not being able to get out. I do have myself... A leverly hook shot, but still, I prefer to keep it going. What am I doing right now? I'm just being knobbish. Let's go ahead and put those back up. There we go. That looks good. Put in a couple of platforms, maybe. There we go. Perfect. Oh, shit. What are you? No! You're a dark wizard! Achievement. There are some who call him Tim, maybe? Can I get the loot? Did he drop anything? Was his name actually Tim the wizard? That's a Monty Python reference. You may call me Tim. That's like one of those lines that was so brilliantly delivered that you can't even like... The comedic genius of that line. Because at the time, Absurd Non Sequitur were not very popular. That was very much ahead of the time. You may call me Tim. And then he inflected his name upwards like he didn't know his own name. That's what's so funny about it. That's why so many people find that act funny. Like a lot of people laugh at it without realizing like why they're laughing at it until you, rep like, until you go through it and you actually pick it apart as a joke. Pretty genius line. A blood moon is rising. That's troublesome, but it shouldn't really affect me down here. I'm probably just going to dig off this way and see what's going on with this little room right here because it's got a weird background that it does not share with any of the other areas. What is happening to me? Did silt fall on my head? What was that? Oh, silt fell. Oh. I guess it must be just like a silt biome, maybe. Okay. I don't care about that. Let's continue down this way. I think this is probably going to be a decent spot to break off the episode considering we haven't actually found our way to any location useful yet. We're getting there. Like, we're almost there. I think we probably got, like, another 40 blocks downwards and we'll be ready to go. There are nine enemies nearby and I see none of them. That is unnerving. I don't like that at all. So I'm going to cut this one a little bit short. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle while I dig downwards deeply into the earth. I will see you on the next episode. I hope you're enjoying this series. I'm having a blast with it and it seems like the reception has been really really positive i was actually super worried that along the way people were just gonna be like terraria f that noise and they were just gonna be bummed out by it like everybody's seen this game already but then the patch came out and gave us a fun opportunity to run through the game from the beginning and so i figured i would jump in on it because i saw a bunch of people start from expert mode very few people actually started from scratch and so i figured there'd probably be some niche audience that would enjoy watching me go from rags to riches and I figured since I hadn't played the game in a good year or two, I should probably refresh my own memory anyways. I'll see y'all next time. I do, everybody.